show you some of the best places to eat. So what do you think? Foodie tour of San Francisco? Let's go. First up is Tacoba, which is located on the mezzanine level of John Collins in downtown San Francisco. This is a super tiny restaurant, probably the size of my living room, honestly. But if you're lucky enough to get a table, this is some of the freshest sushi you will ever have. Two of our favorite rolls were the Midori and the Minna, and you've got to wash it down with some Pog Punch. I love that they garnish this with an orchid. So pretty. You can see how tiny this space is. This is pretty much the entire restaurant behind me. But man, do they know what they're doing with this fresh fish. So delicious. Tonight we're having dinner at Sutro's Cliff House. This is a very classic San Francisco restaurant. We have the most amazing sunset tonight and a table with a view. I truly cannot say enough wonderful things about the dining experience at Sutro's at the Cliff House. This is one of the most beautiful restaurants I think I've ever been to. It's very light, breezy, kind of that California cool vibe. Oh, there's my darling friend Eric. And the views are unbelievable, especially on a beautiful day. This is the Bourbon Renewal Cocktail. It is so delicious. Pairs perfectly with the live jazz band that Sutro's has for your enjoyment on the weekends. The crab cake, I highly recommend. It's so meaty and just delicious, and it's served with a delightful little salad on the side. You can eat your first course, watch the sunset, and then run down and get some photos on the balcony. You will not regret it while you're waiting for your main course. This is just my dream evening. If you wanted to know what my dream evening looks like, it is this. Seafood, jazz, and bourbon with a view. I'm a happy girl. So I ordered the bouillabaisse. I'm hoping, hoping I'm saying that right. I've never ordered this before. I was so impressed. This is mussels, clams, shrimp, and other assorted seafoods in a Thai coconut sauce with smoky grilled bread to just slop it all up. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I don't think we had a single bite left on our plates and I have no regrets about that. This is the dinner of a lifetime. And if you think it can't get any better, save room for dessert. The frozen lemon souffle tastes like a lemon cloud of goodness. It is just incredible. at Foreign Cinema, but first we're taking a stroll through Dolores Park. Dolores Park has fantastic views of the city. It's very dog friendly and lots of people were picnicking. So if you want a beautiful spot to hang out outdoors, then maybe grab some food and enjoy a nice little picnic at this beautiful city park. If you go to Foreign Cinema, you absolutely have to promise me that you will get the cinnamon roll with orange cream cheese icing. This is so good. My only regret is that we didn't get two orders and each enjoy our own. It's warm. It's really not too rich at all. It's so good. It's so fluffy and tender. And that orange cream cheese icing is to die for. This is honestly one of the best pastries I think I've ever had. For breakfast, I ordered the truffle omelet, which came with fried potatoes, and then a side salad with edible flowers. So pretty. Eric got the balsamic fried eggs, and both of our dishes were really packed with flavor. After Foreign Cinema, we took a cab over to Ghirardelli Square, which has been a lifelong dream of mine to visit, so I was super excited about this. There are water views, lots of shops, the original Ghirardelli, and the Ghirardelli Marketplace, which has everything you could possibly imagine. I got the Ocean Breeze Sunday. There are so many different kinds of sweet treats waiting for you at Ghirardelli. I'm at Ghirardelli at Ghirardelli Square, eating a delicious Ocean Breeze Sunday. This is vanilla ice cream caramel sauce and a milk chocolate hot fudge. My mom would be proud. Those are two of her favorite things and it is so good. Mm. So good in fact that I forgot to film this until I was halfway through. <laughs> From 
Ghirardelli Square, we headed straight for the water. This is just a, not even a five minute walk from Ghirardelli Square. And you can play on the beach with the Golden Gate Bridge in your view. Yes, that is the Golden Gate Bridge right behind me. The water is freezing, so be warned. But it's so nice to get to have a little bit of beach time and the, watch the sailboats come and go. Super cute. After the beach, we headed over to Fisherman's Wharf for a little crab cocktail. There are tons of shops and bars and restaurants, and you have absolutely got to find some walking crab cocktail. This is one of my dad's favorite things on the planet. This is basically a just a bowl full of fresh Dungeness crab. Give it a squeeze of fresh lemon. May or may not want some tartar sauce thrown in there, and enjoy. So tonight we have a fabulous evening. We are going to a wine tasting at JCP Tasting Room inside of the Ritz Carlton. Then we're doing the oysters at Bar Frudo and finally dinner at Nova. JCB Wines is part of the Boisse collection and they have a tasting room inside the Ritz Carlton. Two of my favorites were the number 65, which is this guy, would be so great with Brie, super crisp and refreshing. My other favorite was number 11, named after Boisse's lucky number. And it smells so fruity and it's just full of kind of bright plum flavor. I would love to have this in a candle. It's so juicy, so good. Next up was oysters at Bar Crudo. We had Bosole, Komomotu, and Shigoku oysters. And actually the Shigoku were my favorite. I'd never had this oyster before. It's from Washington. Super deep shell, in fact, take a look. After half a dozen oysters, we walked across the street to Nopa, San Francisco. This is a very kind of California craftsman vibe inside, super crowded. We had the halibut crudo to start, and then I had the rotisserie chicken, which apparently is quite a big deal there. It's served with a delicious bread salad with figs and feta. It's really herby, the skin is super crispy, and it's really got an interesting pairing. Lots of fun flavors in this dish. Well, this has been such a fun weekend in San Francisco. I have to get on a plane soon, but first I have time for one more epic San Francisco gem. Let's go have brunch at Kitchen Story. I'm just gonna say it, I'm madly in love with Kitchen Story and I need them to open one in Dallas. First off, I have to tell you about this bacon. This is called Millionaire's Bacon and for good reason. <laughs> Everything here tastes even better than it looks. I mean, the Pacific Eggs Benedict was just a work of art. It was so good. Served on ciabatta bread with rainbow potatoes and fruit, and I was stuffed for the rest of the day. Well, that's it for me here in the Bay Area. I have had the best time eating my way through San Francisco. Special thank you to my dear friend Eric for taking me to some of the best foodie spots in the city. And I don't know about you, but I'm already planning my next trip to the Bay Area.